A man knocked on the door and he said, is your father home, little girl? And the little girl said, no, daddy's away today. He's not here right now. And the man said, well, could you tell me where I could find your daddy? And the little girl just looked up at the man and said, well, if you'll go someplace where people are sick or hurting or having trouble, you'll find my daddy there helping them. He's a doctor, you know. I wonder if somebody asked where you were this week if the answer could have come from your children or the person that answered your phone or door, if you can find a place where people need help, that's where you'll find you or me. Do people really find us helping other people? Or would they have to say, I don't know where, or I can't tell you where that person is? Or would we really want people to know where we were last week? Would you bow your heads and close your eyes? No one looking around and just being quiet as i think about that story in my heart there's a a thing that kind of resounds it says if you want to find the lord jesus christ you've got to set out on a path of helping somewhere of lifting somewhere or lessening somebody's burden and you'll find jesus there because he's always there Maybe you feel like you have some mountains to climb that just can't be climbed or some rivers across that you just can't cross in the matters of decisions about life. And maybe you're having problems, whether they're financial or physical or mental or spiritual or just problems. And you think you're really under a lot of bad circumstances. It's a joy as a pastor and as a servant of the Lord today to be able to tell you that there are no problems that God cannot solve. That we're just like everybody else in the world, we Christians. You know, everybody in the world has problems. Christians have problems too, but we have something that they don't have if, if they're unbelievers in the world. We not only have problems, but we have the problem solver, Jesus Christ, to assist us and to carry us through. So let me say this to you, Mr., Mrs., friend, boy, girl, whoever. God loves you. And no matter what has happened, no matter how difficult it may seem to you to make the decisions you need to make and do the things you ought to do, God is on your side because he that is in you and me is greater than he that is in the world. And so with that thought, I'm going to now invite you each in your own words and each in your own way to join us as we pray. Do you have any rivers to cross? Do you have any mountains to climb? Do you have any sorrow or heartache or a loss? Just rest on this promise divine. Lo, I will be with you always, and thy strength it shall be as the day.
for being with us always. We thank you for all those times that you answered our prayers. We thank you for all those times that you lifted our burdens. And Lord, we know that you've done it before and you'll do it again. And that you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And we thank you for that promise. Our Father, we pray today that you would bless everyone that is here in a very special way. There are Christians, Lord, who really want to do the right thing, but it's so hard in this world. And I pray that you would give them strength to go on and keep on striving and trying. There are those of us, Father, who need to be convicted of our sins, and I pray that your Holy Spirit would convict us today and convince us of our sins that we might confess them and do the right thing. There may be someone here, our Father, who's never trusted you. And I pray that thy spirit would speak and lead that person to be a Christian today. We ask now, Father, that you would answer all of our prayers and that you would guide us and help us to believe more than we've ever believed before because there's so much more that you have for us in this world if we'll trust you. And we pray that you'd bless us to know that and to believe that even now as we pray in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.